Hello, my name is Nate Quam. I'm a Trade Development Research Station Manager with BASF. Today I'd like to welcome you to the Fowler Research Farm. This farm is located in Benton County, Indiana. Uh, in this farm we have about 320 acres of land and about 45,000 square feet of facilities. The BASF Trade Development Team is currently working on many trade innovations to help growers overcome the challenges of crop production not only for today but into tomorrow. These trade innovations, coupled with BASF germplasm, are the foundation on which BASF has a suite of solutions to provide growers with the tools they need to succeed on the complete acre. Today we'd like to showcase how experts from across BASF's broad portfolio have collaborated together to demonstrate how BASF can provide customized, complete solutions to today's soybean producer. With that, I'd like to hand things over to David Pazdernick, BASF Seeds Agronomist, to tell you more. Thank you, Nate. Uh, two of the many components that affect yield and affect high yield soybeans are planting date and variety choice. Uh, in this trial out here, we decided to go with two planting dates. We planted the first date, April 15th, and the second one we waited a full month and planted on May 15th. Uh, as I would expect over the years, um, it's been shown that planting in April you tend to get higher yields than you do in May, so I would expect the April planting to be higher yields out here, uh, but we'll use the combine and see what happens. So planting date definitely does have a large effect on yield. So the second component I'll talk about that affects yield on high management soybeans, or any management for soybeans, is the variety choice. Variety choice is either number one or the number two component that affects yield and that you control. So picking the right variety is extremely important in maximizing your soybean yields. So for this particular trial out here in Fowler, Indiana, I chose Credence 3309 GTLL and Credence 3750 GTLL, uh, and I chose those two so I'm under the same herbicide platform. So last year we did this exact study, and this year we're doing it again, and I used the exact same two varieties. So that way we can really get some two-year data using the same varieties and similar management trials. And the goal is to try and kind of piece apart um, what affects management more than other traits. Uh, with that said, uh, just remember that planting date is critical to high management soybean dates. Planting earlier normally pays off. And remember to talk to your seed advisor about picking the highest yielding variety for your particular farm or your particular field. Uh, next, I'll turn it over to Nick Tinsley and he's going to talk about the seed treatment portion. Thanks, Dave. My name is Nick Tinsley and I'm a seed treatment technical field representative with BASF. I'm here today to talk to you about the value of seed treatments in your soybean crop. You know, I tend to think of seed treatments as the unsung hero of producing a soybean crop. And the reason for this is that many growers take for granted that once you plant a field, it's going to emerge to a healthy start. But it's really the seed treatment that helps make that happen in the face of disease and insect threats. You know, one of the things that growers are doing every year is pushing their planting dates earlier and earlier. And that tends to make it more likely that you might have a disease or early season insect problem. Now, BASF has a full portfolio of seed treatment products that can help mitigate some of those stresses. Examples would be Obvious Plus Seed Treatment Fungicide or Relania. These work together to provide protection against things like Pythium, Phytophthora, Fusarium, and Rhizoctonia. In addition to that, we also have a seed treatment insecticide for soybeans called Poncho XC. And this will really help protect against those early season insect threats like bean leaf beetle or seed corn maggot. In addition to that, we can help boost those yields higher with products like Vault IP+, which contains not only an inoculant, but also biofungicides that help protect and enable that crop. And now I'm going to turn it over to Gary to talk about the value of fungicides in a soybean system. Thanks, Nick. Uh, again, my name is Gary Welker. I'm the technical service representative uh, for the state of Indiana. Part of this high yield uh, uh, soybean trial that we're doing here, uh, my component would be the fungicide aspect of it. So David talked about the varieties and, and the planting date. Nick talked about the seed treatments. Uh, and then the last part of this was uh, the different management as far as fungicides that we, we did here. So uh, the first one is, uh, we did no treatment at all. 
So this would be just uh, you know standard uh, what they did before me as far as the seed treatments and the varieties, and then no foliar fungicide at all. Uh, the second component of it would be Preaxor, which has been our flagship fungicide in soybeans for many many years. Uh, but now it's kind of moved down a tier because uh, uh, we have a new product, right? And so again we have untreated, and then we have Praxor, and then the last treatment would which would be our new innovation, uh, which is Revitec, and we included FastTac uh, insecticide. Uh, in, included with that. So, um, you know, David talked about uh, improvements from, you know, variety differences and planting date will give us a big bump. Uh, we, we fully expect that the untreated uh, won't yield as good as the Preaxor and the Preaxor won't yield as good as the Revitec plus Fastac. Because uh, our ultimate goal on these high yield soybeans uh, is to save as many pods uh, to produce yield. Because every time we save one pod, three bean pod, that's one bushel. Right, and so uh, in, in many fields that you go out to today and you look and you'll see aborted pods, either from insect feeding or uh, from loss from a node that the leaf has been destroyed from diseases. So if we keep diseases off and we keep insects from feeding, we can save one, two, three, maybe as many as five or six of those pods. And so we can add lots of yield uh, with this. So again, kind of to sum this up, uh, you know, we work really great together as far as the team here at the Fowler location. Um, we've, we're going to collaborate on this. This is our second year of doing this and we'll continue this in the future. For more information about products for high yield soybeans or in fact high yield corn, contact your local BSF representative or one of our supporting local retailers.